Okay, sa fundamental differentiation formula, ito yung una natin puntahan, mga dapat yung memorize. So, yung first formula natin, look at the first formula, the derivative of a constant. So, natin nyo yan, this should be read as the derivative of C with respect to X is equal to 0. Derivative of C with respect to X is equal to 0. So, for example, number 1. So, isa siya sa mga basic, so fundamental formula. For example, the derivative of, of 5 with respect to x should be equal to 0. Why? Because 5 is a constant. Kaya ang derivative ng any constant will always be 0. O letter B, for example, the derivative of the derivative of negative 100 is equal to okay, it is still equal to 0 because negative 100 is a constant so another example the derivative of pi with respect to x is again equal to 0 because pi is a constant so, ganun lang kadali yung formula number 1. Now, ito na tayo kay formula number 2. So, formula number 2, is actually wala talagang, ano, walang, wala siyang sarili niyang formula. Pero nilagyan ko lang because this is a common, commonly, nagiging mistake siya. So, common mistake, nalilip yung kadalasan. So, sabi dito, the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1. As simple as that, at wala nang ibang example, kundi siya lang. The derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1. So, saan ba nang galing formula number 2? Actually, ang meron tayong formula is actually no formula number 3. The derivative of c times x. Wait lang. Nangyari. Derivative of c times x with respect to x is equal to C. Yun lang. For example, the derivative of 5x. So, yung 5, that's your C. And this is your X. So, the derivative of 5x with respect to X is equal to C, which is 5. Letter B. The derivative of negative 9x. So, yung negative 9, that will stand as your C at X. So, the derivative of negative 9x is the constant negative 9. The derivative of negative 7x with respect to x is, yes, that is negative 7. And the derivative of 4x with respect to x is 4. So, saan ang galing yung formula number 2? Tingnan natin saan ang galing yung formula number 2. Ah. So, the derivative of x is equal to 1. Why 1? Because your 1 here, your x here, has the invisible, you understood natin, na meron siya dyan, 1x. And the derivative of 4x is 4, therefore the derivative of 1x is 1. Doon ang galing yung formula number 2 natin, yung special formula natin na nilagay dyan. So next, so formula number or na muna tayo. So, huwag nyo intindihin yung numbering ko. Just focus on the formula. Because yung numbering na natin sa isang video, maaaring iba sa numbering na natin sa solution natin ngayon. So, the derivative of x raised to n. So, this is the power rule. Meaning, applicable or use mostly, there are powers or exponents. x raised to the power n. Uh, just look at the the changes from x raised to n naging n times x raised to n minus 1. So, the derivative of x raised to n with respect to x is equal to n times x raised to n minus 1. For example, letter A, the derivative of x raised to 5. So, x raised to 5 
our 5 is this n. So, this is our n, 5. So, so the natin formula, just follow the formula closely. So, n, 5, x, n minus 1, 5 minus 1. Then, simplify na, then we will have 5x, 5 minus 1 will give you 4. So, the derivative of x raised to 5 with respect to x is 5x raised to 4. So another example, letter B. So, the derivative of x raised to 6, for example. So, gawin natin siya. So, x raised to n. This is your n. So, natin formula n, 6, x raised to n minus 1. 6 minus 1. So, we'll have 6, x is 2, 6 minus 1, 5. So, we'll have to it. So, by now, you should easily be able to find the derivative, for example, of x cubed. So, the derivative of x cubed will be, so, yun, pinahin na, b, 3 x 3 minus 1 or 3 x squared. Okay? Hmm. Isa pa. The derivative of x raised to negative 4. So, we write siya. So, our n is negative 4. n is negative 4. So, negative 4 x negative 4 minus 1, so we'll have negative 4, x plus 2, negative 5. So, napunta naman tayo sa panglimang formula, which is just the same with formula number 4, still dealing with powers. Kaya lang kanina, ano lang yun, x plus to n. This time, we have c, x plus to n. Again, yung formula number 4 natin, nanggaling lang din siya kay formula number Five. Then, so, tignan natin example. First example. Hmm. C, our four, derivative of 4x cubed. So, this is your C, x raised to n. So, yung C mo is yung 4, then your n is 3. Then, just look at the formula. The derivative of C, x raised to n with respect to x is C, times n times x raised to n minus 1. So, c, 4 times n times x raised to n minus 1. So, we'll have 4 times 3, 12, x, then 3 minus 1 will give you 2. So, the derivative of 4x cubed is 12x squared. Hmm, so, pa, for example, number, letter B. The derivative of, uh, for example, 6x squared. So, this is your C. This is your N. Follow the formula. C, N, times x raised to n minus 1. So, 6 times 2 is 12. And x, 2 minus 1 is 1. Or we just simply do not write the 1. And finally, another example, derivative of 8x raised to 4. So, you should see it as 8 times 4, x, 4 minus 1. So, dapat kanya nakabilis din siya yung nakikita. So, we'll have 32, x, raised to 3. Sa pangadaw, a letter D, the derivative of 5, x, raised to 6. So, we'll have 5, times 6 5 times 6 x raised to 6 minus 1 
thirty x is to five. Uh, next formula na tayo no? so this is formula number 6 so again do not uh, do not have to pass yung numbering ko because yung numbering do sa sa listabiri ko is different from the numbering here so I'll just name it as formula number 6 so may nilagtawa ko kasi yung chain rule and some formula formula number 6 na gagamitin natin is the derivative of u plus or minus b with respect to x so this is equal to based on our formula the derivative of u with respect to x plus minus the derivative of b with respect to x so for example we have the derivative of 2x cubed plus 5x minus 1. So, six, uh, formula number 6 is about the derivative of a sum. So, sum rule. Sum rule. Sabi dyan, pwede nyo siyang i-break down. Pwede nyo siyang pag-iwayahiwalayin yung mga addends. And then, get the derivative of each addend. Kunin nyo yung derivative ng pang tigisa. Kahit gaano mo siya kahaba. So, for example, letter A derivative of 2x cubed plus 5x minus 1. If we are going to apply formula number 6, this one, the sum rule, this will, we will have derivative of 2x cubed plus the derivative of 5x minus the derivative of 1. Kaya siya. Hiniwahiwala lang na siya sa madaling sulta. We just uh, get the derivative of each each term. Now, for this one, oh, sabi natin sa unang nakita. And how do we solve this? We can solve this using this one. Formula number 5. The derivative of Cx raised to n. So, ito, pwede natin siyang gamitan ng, ito gagamitan natin ng formula for Cx raised to n. Therefore, kung siya ay C, 2 times 3 x 3 minus 1. Yun yung formula niya. Okay. Tapos, ito naman, ano yung magagamit natin dito? Ang magagamit natin din eh. So, ito yung formula number. Oh, check natin siya dito sa ating listahan. Nasaan siya niya? Hindi yan yan. Hindi yan yan. Ito siya. Formula number 3. The derivative of Cx with respect to x is C. The derivative of Cx, the derivative of Cx, the derivative of so Cx, the derivative of Cx, is equal to C, 5. Then, finally, yung panguhuli nating term, the last term, the derivative of 1, with respect to x. So, anong formula ang gagamitin natin dyan? We're going to review siya ay magpo-fall sa formula number 1 the derivative of a constant the derivative of any constant is always equal to 0 okay. so meaning this will become 0 so, the derivative of 2x cubed is this one simplify natin 6x 3 minus 1 squared the derivative of 5x is 5 so no need to simplify it's just 5 then the derivative of 1 minus is equal to 0. So we have minus 0. So 5 minus 0 is 5. So our answer is this one. So it's being the derivative of 2x cubed plus 5x minus 1 is 6x squared plus 5. Or letter B. The derivative of 2x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Oh, sayin mo na lang siya. I-apply natin si, si sum rule. So, the derivative of 2x is to 4 minus derivative ng 4x cubed plus derivative ng 3x squared minus derivative ng 
2x plus derivative of 1 respect to x so, nasahin natin to again this is the power rule 2 times 4 x is 2 4 minus 1 ito minus o oh, power rule din to 4 times 3 x 3 minus 1 plus 3 oh, 3 times 2 x 2 minus 1 ito ano to derivative ng cx so this will become 2 this will be the derivative of a constant so this will become plus 0 so simplify natin isa isa this will have you will have 8 x cubed minus 12 x 3 minus 1 is 2 then plus 3 times 2 6 x raised to 1 minus 2 plus 0 so is wala may kasama ng iba so no need to write the plus 0 and this will be your final answer so the derivative of this one with respect to x is this one